Hello, everyone, and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host, Sherry, and on today's Skincare Saturday video, we're not doing anything with the face, not one iota with the face. What we're going to do is, I'll tell you, So I was at the Walmart the other day. I hate the Walmart, man. Why was I even there? Oh, I was looking for something for Christmas. And I looked every other place in the whole United States of America. And my last resort was Walmart. So while I was at the Walmart, I saw this. Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Cream. And the reason why I got it, two, there are two reasons why I got it. It says, this is the number one selling curl cream. What that means, I don't know. But this says it controls frizz, softens and defines coarse curls. Reason number two, why I purchased this in every single video without fail that I do where I'm testing like anti-frizz products for my super straight, silky, straight, bone, straight, hair of my dreams video. You guys always say, you have curly hair, embrace your curly hair, your hair is curly, it's not straight. La la la, curly, 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 curly. So it's like, all right, if you guys say I have curly hair, which I don't know how you can know that, you haven't touched it, you don't know. But we're gonna find out, because clearly I bought the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Cream, and then I also bought the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Three Times Moisture Triple Blend Shampoo, and the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Three Times Moisture Triple Blend Conditioner. And to top it off, just for you guys, just to see, we're testing your theory. I don't wanna have to say, like right now, like, I told you so. So, I'm giving everything the best effort and I'm gonna try my hardest. So along with our three products for curly hair, I bought this. This is the Infinity Pro by Con Air Full Body and Shine Pro Dryer. Now, do I already own a blow dryer? Why, yes, yes I do. But you guys in the comments were saying like, just get a diffuser. Well, I couldn't find just the diffuser attachment to just put on my current blow dryer. So I had to buy a whole new blow dryer that has a diffuser attachment. I got this at the Kohl's and it was on sale for $29. It is a pro dryer with titanium technology. I don't know what that means, but it says it's fast, gentle drying, reduces frizz, comfortable styling, and the diffuser is included. Beautiful body, powerful airflow for big volume boost. Up to 50% faster drying with a professional AC motor that lasts up to three times longer. Infrared heat generated with titanium technology that gently and evenly dries your hair, reduces those frizzy flyaways. Ionic technology ensures up to 75% less frizz. I, I, I don't know how it's gonna do it, but we're gonna find out. And then the piece de resistance, the entire reason why I purchased this, it says voluminous, curls, and waves with their professional diffuser. So there you have it. I am gonna test your guys' theory on whether or not I have curly hair. Now, I don't wanna say like I don't have curly hair. We all know that it's not bone straight hair. I cannot let it air dry and have it be straight. I have to straighten it every time I wash and blow dry my hair. In my mind, it's frizzy. It does have some wave to it, but the wave is very sporadic. I've got like a piece that sticks straight, a piece that's wavy, a piece that's frizzy, a piece that's maybe curly, more frizz. I would like to say I have combination hair. I don't think that it is curly, nor do I think that it is straight, but I prefer straight because I just feel like it's more straight slash frizzy than it is curly slash pretty. So. I don't know what I can give you if you're all right, aside from my everlasting love and devotion. But if you're all wrong, collectively, you're all gonna figure out what you owe me. That's all I'm saying. So it's either I owe you or you owe me, and we're gonna find out on this Skincare Saturday. Okay, so first, I have to jump in the shower and wash my hair. Now, I can't remember the last time I washed my hair. This sometime, like 
I don't know, last week maybe. I mean, it's due for a wash, that's for sure. Now, when I washed it the last time, I did blow dry it and straighten it. I know it doesn't look like it because it's like hella dirty right now. And that looks kind of cool if my whole head was like that, but I don't think my whole head's like that. And it just is crimpy and curly looking because maybe like two or three days after I wear it straight, then I just start wearing it in a ponytail and then I sleep in it all jacked up, put it in a bun. I rarely brush it. So all of these, what you see here, what you might call like curls or waves, those are just from me going like this a million times, not rewashing it, putting it in a ponytail, sweating, sleeping. I know it sounds disgusting, but it is what it is, and that's my hair. So I am going to jump in the shower and I am going to take my Mark Anthony Strictly Curls. So for the shampoo, I'm sure it's very self explanatory. Now, this and this at the Walmart, I think all three of them at the Walmart cost $7.49. Let's just say $23 plus my $29 blow dryer. What's that? $52 to see if I do, in fact, have the curly hair that you guys say I have and if I can, in fact, rock that curly hair. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe I have curly hair and I've been in denial for like the last 23 years. But what if I go through all this trouble and curly hair just doesn't look good on me, which is what I'm fearing. Because if I let my hair air dry, I just don't like it. It's gonna be one of those ones where even if the curls turn out beautiful and voluminous and my hair is meant to be curly, I might sit here and go, ew. And then you guys might really have to pump me up. Like I am fishing for compliments in the comments down below as I speak right now. So just start getting them ready. Sherry, you look amazing. Curly hair is your champ. You look 15 years younger with curly. Just start thinking of all of those so that when we're done, if I am saying I hate it and you guys are loving it, you better let me know in the comments below. So shower time. I'm getting sidetracked a lot because I just, I, I'm not looking forward, A, to see if my hair is in fact curly. B, if it is in fact curly, are they nice curls? And C, what if they are nice curls and I kind of almost look okay in it? I'm also a little bit nervous about the length of time that this is gonna take me to use because my friend, Shannon, has curly hair and watching her get ready using this diffuser and going, 12 hours later, she's dried her hair and we can finally leave. I'm not about that. So hopefully it doesn't take that long. That's why I'm nervous. I like, part of me doesn't even wanna go in the shower and get my hair wet and start using these products because there's so much going through my brain right now. But I will, I will power through you guys just for you because you all seem to think that I have curly hair. Now. This is also not just an experiment for me, but an experiment for those of you who maybe have a similar hair type to me. Does this Mark Anthony, does this number one selling curl cream actually work? Could it work for you guys? We're gonna see. So while I am experimenting on my own head just to see if I have curly hair, we are also testing one, two, three, four products down to this new blow dryer that I purchased at the Kohl's the other day. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what works, what doesn't. So for the shampoo, I mean, we all know how to wash our hair, but let's read about it. Hair should play, twist, curl, and bounce. Our team of style makers and beauty lovers never sit still. Traveling the world to bring you the best ingredients and the latest trends to create professional quality products. Okay, Mark Anthony, I'm ready. I'm here for it. There's marula oil that restores moisture, coconut cream that strengthens, and shea butter that protects, leaving soft, touchable, frizz free curls. That is one of the things. So if I do in fact have curly hair, is it just going to be all frizzy and wiry? Because we don't want that. So according to the shampoo, it is going to be frizz free. We're supposed to apply to wet hair, lather and rinse. For best results, we're supposed to use the Strictly Curls three times moisture triple blend conditioner. Well, Mark Anthony, I do want the best results and therefore I have the conditioner. So the conditioner, same rigmarole that the shampoo did about their team of style makers that traveled the world. Same three oils in the shampoo as in the conditioner, the marula oil, the coconut cream and the shea butter. Apply to clean wet hair, rinse, 
For best results, use the entire Strictly Curls three times moisture collection. Well, I didn't buy the entire collection. I just bought three products. There was a mousse that I did not purchase. And then there was another styling cream that seemed very similar to this. And the mousse and the other styling cream and this cream all said to apply over damp curls. So I was like, I'm not gonna fill my hair with three products. So I just bought this one because it's the number one selling curl cream, so that's why. And then when I come out over my damp hair, I'm gonna put this on, and then we are going to blow dry with our diffuser. So, off to the shower. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. I didn't do anything, I just put this wrap on. I didn't mess with my hair. I didn't brush it. I didn't towel dry it. I didn't do anything. I just put this wrap around to take out some of the wetness because my hair needs to be damp for this stuff. Now, I do like that the shampoo and conditioner have a little pump action going. However, I don't feel like the pump spits out enough. So it's like pump, 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 pump. I tend to use a lot of shampoo and a lot of conditioner, probably more than the average person and probably more than I should. But I did feel like I pumped like five or six times on both the shampoo and the conditioner. But the pump is nice. That's a positive. The second positive is it smells divine. I don't know what the smell is, but the shampoo and the conditioner smell exactly the same. Mm. They kind of just smell like what you would imagine shampoo and conditioner smells like with coconut cream and shea butter. That's the best description I can give you. It's not like a scent that you've smelled before other than in shampoo and conditioner. That's all I can say. Uh, it does smell good. Not for nothing, it smells really good. The conditioner, it didn't say like leave it in for a minute or two minutes or whatever. So I put it in and then I just washed my body, shaved what I normally do, and then I rinsed it out. So maybe it was sitting on my head for five minutes tops. It doesn't take me that long to shave my pits and I didn't shave my legs, so you know. Once I rinsed it though, my hair was feeling very smooth, very soft, very lovely. I mean, I feel like all conditioners make your hair feel like that. However, I think Mark Anthony made it feel just a little bit more like soft and smooth, just a little bit more. So now that I have had my hair in here, we need to put on the number one selling curl cream. That's what we need to do. It says perfect curls for all hair types. Whether your curls are big or small, thick or fine, tightly wound or loosely held, Curl Envy Cream gives you total control. Look at how beautiful their curls look. I don't know if mine's gonna turn out like that, but wouldn't it be cool if it did? Like, to me, this is curling iron. This is a curling iron. I'm not saying that it is, but in my opinion, I believe she has curled her hair with curling iron. There's no way that's her natural curly hair. That's like beautiful, but maybe it is. Maybe that's why this is the number one selling curl cream. I don't know. We're gonna find out though. The directions. We are supposed to generously apply evenly over damp curls from roots to ends using our fingertips. Dry naturally or blow dry with a diffuser. Pro tip, twist hair around fingertip to enhance curl definition. Like when it's wet? Like, do I have to do that? All right. Okay, let's open her up. This ginormous box for dun, 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 dun. this. It could have used half the size of the box, but whatever. Ooh, this smells good. Kind of like candy. Sugary, lemony, maybe like a lemon drop. Oh yeah, lemon drop vibes. That's what's happening. Okay, so let's get my hair out of my little wrap. Nice, just damp, not super wet. It says, generously over damp curls from roots to ends using my fingertips. Generous. Okay, maybe we'll use more. I don't know, but that seems like a lot. Okay, so going in, going in, using my fingertips. I'm gonna dip my head upside down, hold up. Okay, fingertips generously from root to end. I think that was probably a nice enough amount. <clears throat> now, I'm supposed to pro tip and do this. That's not, that's not gonna happen. No, we're just gonna scrunch it, that's fine. Get it all up in there. On my ends, we went zero frizz. And now we're gonna open up our brand new blow dryer and diffuser and see what the shit that's all about. Here, diffuser and straightener thing and blow dryer and there's directions. But do we need the directions on how to use a blow dryer? I don't think so. Ooh, ah, look at how sleek. 
with the rose gold. So beautiful. Actually very heavy compared to my current blow dryer. So we're gonna plug that in. Does she work? She works. Okay, so we do have a hot, warm, and cool setting, and then a high, low, and off setting. It is very heavy. Here's our little straight shot thing, which we will not be using. And then here is our diffuser. Boom. Now, it looks like it's like a screw situation. And does it just pop on? Maybe this is why we need directions. Oh, no, there we go. Diffuser activated. Okay, so. I did bust out the directions just because I wanted to see if they had any pro tips on using the diffuser and they didn't say much. But what they did say was body and volume to create extra volume, turn head upside down, which a lot of you told me not to blow dry my hair upside down when I was trying to make it not frizzy, but I think we do want body and volume, don't you? So we will turn my head upside down, position the airflow toward the roots for maximum lift. When hair is dry, toss head back, brush hair into place. Tousled, natural looking waves. That's what I want to achieve. That's what we're trying to do. That's what this whole thing is about. I want tousled, natural looking waves. They're easily created by grasping hair at the roots and scrunching between fingertips while drying. There is a select your setting, average to thick, or treated hair, which is probably me. It says use on low, warm. Oh, we're gonna be here for hours. Low, warm, are you kidding me? When I normally blow dry my hair, I use it on the highest speed and the highest temperature possible. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna set it on low and warm, and then I'm just gonna go like this until my hair is dry. Yay me. Low, warm. Okay, so I've been blow drying my hair for about 10 minutes and I did five minutes upright and then five minutes with my head topped over and I feel like my roots feel like they're dry, but my ends are not. And what I'm worried about, is this gonna leave my hair like crunchy? Cause ain't nobody trying to have crunchy hair. Now, as I'm sitting here for 10 minutes blow drying my hair, I was thinking, well, the blow dryer says it's not gonna be frizzy. Mark Anthony says it's not gonna be frizzy. So I'm hoping to shit, it's not gonna be frizzy. I'm not gonna lie, right now it is looking pretty curly if you ask me. This is still damp, but I think I've got all my root airy, like everything close to my head is dry. Now it's just the mids and ends I need to work on. I mean, what am I supposed to do with it once it's like, Curly. This is so like, is this it? Is this the style? I don't know. I haven't been like running my fingers through it at all. Actually, I haven't even really been touching it. I've just been doing the blow dryer. Maybe now I'll kind of like scrunch and blow dry and maybe sort of get it into some sort of a shape as I finish like blow drying the rest. I don't know, this is giving me like 18, 19 year old Sherry when she got a perm to look like Mariah Carey. I'm, I'm having those vibes right now. All right, more blow drying, warm and low. Here we go. Okay, blow dry. I've been blow drying my hair for the last 20 minutes and I just can't take it anymore. There's like some dampness still in there, but for the most part, it's pretty dry. But okay, maybe you guys are right. Maybe I do have curly hair. I mean, maybe, but now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, the curls do look pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, but, but now what? My only thing I can think of is that I would wear it like half up. That could be cute. I don't know, because again, I have not brushed it. I haven't really run my fingers through it. Then it's like, what do you do now? The diffuser doesn't let you like style it, like make a part, whatever. So now what? Do I just kind of let it be how it's gonna be and that's how it is? And that's what I look like? Dang. <laughs> It's curly, what does the back look like? Does it look frizzy? Because remember, Mark Anthony and the blow dryer by Con Air told us we should not be frizzy. Okay, honestly, are you guys right? Do I owe you something? My everlasting, undying love and affection? Are there any straight pieces? Does this look frizzy? I'm just confused as to what I'm supposed to do with it now. The only thing I can think of is like, 
half up. I don't know. It wants to middle part, but it definitely is curly. It definitely is curly. Should we bring Davis in and see what he thinks? You guys, it's pretty curly. I don't know if I can wear my hair like this all the time, especially considering the blow dryer took 20 minutes to do. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull Davis away from his computer long enough to come in here and see what he thinks. Oh my goodness. What do you think? That's like your old hair. <laughs> my old hair? Yeah, like your cheerleader hair. Yes, my cheerleader hair. You're right. What do you think? That looks super good. Is it? Does it look frizzy? I wouldn't or say. Or just so. curly? I was going to, it doesn't look very frizzy to me. Okay. It just looks curly. Not like what? wavy, but like curly, I would say. Yeah. Like wavy curly. But do I just like wear it like this or should I like put it up or? What about back half? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like this. I mean, I don't know. I thought do I just like, leave it down? I didn't know like your hair this. was this long. I didn't know my hair was this curly, but everybody else did. Woo! They kept telling me in the comments, I have curly hair. Stop trying to make it straight. It's curly. So we're doing the curly test. But I just don't know, like, do I just wear it like this? Am I like, this is me now, everybody? I mean, it doesn't look bad. But it doesn't look good. It just looks different. Yeah. I just don't know how to make it do something like here. Because normally when it's straight, I just straighten it down and just goes middle part down but now i mean maybe this is it no mm. i don't think he's liking it i just would have to get used to it it doesn't look bad but by you saying it doesn't look bad you're also saying it doesn't look good i'm just not used to it so you hate me in curly hair no <laughs> okay <laughs> like pick everybody picture it picture it picture it let's pretend i have makeup on and let's pretend i have a cute outfit on should i try to make it work i would say try all right i'll try Okay, I didn't do a whole hell of a lot. I, I did put on makeup. You know, Lady Gaga foundation. If you missed that test, you should probably watch it. So I've got some foundation on. I did some bronzer, powder, and mascara. And then I just put like a little half up situation happening. Oh, and then I did pull down a curl only to discover, oh, is it time to do your roots? Cause there's some grays. So I don't know. It's definitely a vibe. It's definitely a possibility. And you guys were definitely right. I have curly hair. Who knew? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna wear it curly every single day. And who knows if I'm even gonna wear it curly after this, but I could see it and it doesn't look super frizzy. My only issue is I just wish I knew like, how to style it and maybe that will take practice but i'd like to just be able to wear it down like this girl right here look at that there's no way her hair stays like that but look i mean that's damn near a ringlet if you ask me so it's not hideous and maybe i just need more practice but point of the story is you guys know my hair better than i know my hair you were right and i am glad i tried it i just need to like fine tune my technique but you know, for my first go round, not too, too bad, right? So let's see what Davis thinks if he likes it any better. So I did try, mm -hmm. put a turtleneck on, I put some makeup on, I did it half up. It looks good half up, it reduces the like volume in the back. Davis decided that maybe if I cut my hair shorter, it would be cute. I don't think we're gonna go to that extreme right now today on this video, but who knows? I mean, it's only taken me like 8 million years to grow it out this long. But you were thinking like shoulder. Yeah. Like here. I don't know about that. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. So Davis is a little bit happier with it. He says it doesn't look as bad as it did originally. So I guess there's that. So I, I, I mean, I can't know for sure because I haven't seen the numbers. If this is in fact the number one selling curl cream, but it does do what it says. I mean, I don't know if I would say it's that extreme. Like here she is before with like frizzy hair and here she is after with like touched up curling iron hair. But I don't think it's that frizzy. I don't think it's frizzy at all, actually. I think that this did pretty good. I like the feel of it. I like the smell of it. And at Walmart, the price for $7.49, six fluid ounces. I say that's pretty good. Same shampoo and conditioner. They smelled great. You get 16 fluid ounces in each for $7.49 at the Walmart. I love the smell. I like that it's in a pump. Now, can I verify and say it's three times the moisture like like they're saying on here no I cannot but it does feel very moisturized it does feel very soft and surprisingly enough that cream there's no crunch I was worried that there was gonna be a crunch but now that it's like drier and drier and drier no crunch whatsoever my hair is actually very 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 soft so that's nice props to you Mark Anthony I think you, you got some good 
curly hair products there. And then that brings us to our uh, Infinity Pro by Conair blow dryer. For $29, I think it's kind of expensive for a blow dryer. Considering when I was at the Walmart purchasing the hair care products, I saw blow dryers for like $9.99. Now they did not have a diffuser. I was hoping that I could just buy this part by itself, but I didn't see that anywhere. The blow dryer is nice. I like that it told me to do low and warm based on my hair type. I think that was a good setting. As much as I bitched about not being able to put it on a high and hot, I think it was fine. I can't speak to if it dried my hair faster than my other blow dryer because I've never diffused my hair with my other blow dryer before. But 18 to 20 minutes of diffusing your hair sounds like a long time to me. But again, I have no perspective. It was on sale at the Kohl's for $29, which again, I think is kind of an expensive price to pay for a blow dryer, but it is a very nice blow dryer. And this is not like smooth. It definitely feels nice in your hand for as heavy as it is. It's like a no slip grip, which is very, very nice. It is sleek, it is streamlined, it blew dry my hair. Had it not been on sale, I wouldn't have purchased it. I'll tell you that right now, because I think at Kohl's, which Kohl's is kind of expensive. I don't know what they're thinking. But anyways, point of the story is, that's a pretty nice blow dryer if you can get it on sale. I don't say this very often because it very rarely happens, but, you guys were right and I was wrong. There it is, it's out there, it's out there in the world. I have curly hair, I just need to own it. I'll try to get better at styling it so that it doesn't look so all over the place and wild like, you know, Medusa curly hair. But you're right, I do have curls. So this is a nice option. Like some days I can, oh, you know what? Because normally I wash my hair, I blow dry it, I straighten it. Then I wear it straight and down for like a couple of days. And then I start wearing it in a ponytail. What would be nice is if I wash it, diffuse it, wear it curly for a couple of days, then straighten it, wear it straight for a couple of days, and then put it in a ponytail, and then wash it again. So I don't know just how my hair is gonna hold up with this Curl Envy Cream, if it's gonna make my hair feel greasy and oily and grimy and dirty before it normally does. So I will have to test that out because ain't nobody trying to wash their hair like every other day. That's, that's not me. No, 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 no. Once a week, I'm fine. So we'll see what this does, but for the most part, yeah, I tested your theory and you were right. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you're interested in any of these products, I'll try to find links to the Amazon and put them below. Also, don't forget to write me. I'm, I'm fishing for compliments. Don't forget to put them in the comments below as well. And as always, thanks for hanging out.